Good day to everyone watching. I just want to clear up a few things with regards to um, some information I've seen on Twitter and specifically linked to things that I said in the past in a live stream interview with Willem Petzer. And what I, what I want to make clear is that I have never thought that anything that happened at Kuburg that required an investigation by the Kuburg management that it's that it's okay. Uh, in fact, I said that it's it's not okay, and that it's very important to understand that the processes used at Kuburg ensures that those events are investigated to find out exactly why they happen, and then that event is reported to the NNR, and those NNR reports are available to the public as well as to the MPs in Parliament, and that's why they can ask questions and find out exactly why these events take place and, and they should should question uh, any events that take place in this case i think the word leak was the biggest problem when it was actually an unmonitored or uncontrolled release and once again just quickly the difference between a leak a leak cannot be controlled if you watch my previous video that i that i made on the safety at kuburg you can get a leak in a condenser tube that you cannot stop or control. You have to actually shut down that line of seawater to actually be able to plug that tube or repair that tube to stop that leak. When you have an unmonitored release, it means that you had a way to actually stop that release from happening. Or you did a release and was just not monitored, which means it has nothing to do with a leak. The whole concept of a leak in uh, nuclear terms is quite a serious one because it means that you don't have a way or means of controlling release of radiation to the environment, which was not the case in, in any of these incidents uh, that happened at Kuburg. So I just want to make that clear. The other thing that I want to make clear, as stated earlier, is that it's not okay that there are unmonitored or uncontrolled releases. Is it a hazard to the public? No, it's not. Uh, it's not a hazard to the public and that I had to make clear as well. That people understand that you need severe damage to the nuclear fuel that's inside a reactor within various barriers of safety before any of that radiation can re uh, reach the public at a level that is dangerous for their health. And that is what is important to understand. Do I have concerns with regards to nuclear oversight? I have extreme concerns with regards to nuclear oversight at Kuburg. This doesn't mean that what's happening at Kuburg is problematic to me. There might be some things that I consider can improve, but when it comes to nuclear oversight, that is the job of the National Nuclear Regulator. And they should be an independent watchdog watching over Kuburg and they should have skilled staff that are able to perform that duty. And I think that personally that the NNR has been politicized to a level where their oversight function is sorely deficient. And I can go into a lot of detail on this. And uh, in, in my next video, I will do this in detail, explain why the National Nuclear, Nuclear Regulator, in my opinion, should improve, improve largely as a nuclear watchdog. And that a lot needs to happen before South Africa can even consider building new nuclear infrastructure. And at this stage, I would be opposed to anything like that because we don't have that watchdog facility there in the way and form that I think keeps the public's best interest at heart. And I actually wrote an article uh, on News24 where I speak about the possibility of a nuclear Nuremberg. Now, the Nuremberg trials were the trials where Nazi uh, top men were actually hunted down to try and find the people that perpetrated all these atrocities. And if you look at the future with regards to nuclear, you get people that are going to be in the grave that design these nuclear power stations, that come up with ideas to build nuclear power stations, and, and they might think it's a great idea at the time. But uh, the consequences of nuclear can remain into generations that might not want nuclear. And if you don't have the, new, uh, the, the political will to build nuclear power stations, you shouldn't because you need a very specific environment and type of uh, skilled personnel to actually administer, manage and run a nuclear power station or a nuclear industry. And 
if any of the, the, the pieces of the puzzle that you need to, to, to keep nuclear safe is deficient, then you need to reconsider future nuclear and you need to reconsider how you actually fix those pieces of the puzzle so that the puzzle can be complete to make sure that the public remains as safe as possible throughout the entire process. And in my next video, I will actually break this down in detail. And I'll probably be very unpopular for doing this. But like I said, at this stage, I have nothing to lose. I'm very much willing to speak to the public, inform them, and then they can put the pressure on government. Uh, we have elections soon. They can decide what to do with that information. And, you know, at the end of the day, the best place to actually have your say is at the polls. I thank you very much.